Okay, as promised, we're doing this. We'll be stepping here, like you saw in the vlog. Let's start off with Pocky, because I said if we're going from this, my brother wanted to try some of them. So, they are cookies and cream. And they just, you know, they look quite a lot like the Hershey's cookie and cream chocolate does. Yeah. Mm. I love cookies and cream. <laughs> Good. 10 out of 10. So England are having a bit of a heat wave right now, so next I feel like this is appropriate to do next. So it is mango flavoured. Um yeah. I could say we drink look a little mango is also happy. Okay, so I have to follow the instructions. Peel off the seal. Oh no, now I've done. <laughs> Place the opener on top of the Ramune bottle and press down the Yes, okay. How does this work? Ah, I did it! <laughs> I'm really excited to try this now. Fizzing, probably do that. Mmm, that's quite good. It's very fizzy. I've already had fizzy mango before. I don't think it's quite as mango y as the other mango juice I have and stuff, usually. It is good. It's a bit like like soda, like soda water, like fizzy water with a, like a hint of mango. But it's right. <laughs> there was the footage in the beginning of me introducing the two Kit Kats, which I have already opened now because I'm filming this in the future. Um, the camera was really like I don't know, something was up with my camera. So yeah, that's what I'm trying next, and now we get to see what I think of them. The Sakura Matcha one, which is like uh, Sakura is cherry blossoms. I'm just sat on the opener. Okay. And this one's very pretty in the packaging. So pretty. Uh, ooh, it's green. Ooh, it's a bit melty because I said, oop, heat wave. Um, okay, this is what the little bar looks like. Give it a cap. It tastes like something I've had before, but I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. It's kind of maybe cinnamony. Like white, the green stuff literally just tastes like white chocolate, and it tastes a bit cinnamony. Uh. Eight <laughs> out of ten. Okay, now this one next, which is sake, which is like a Japanese kind of alcohol. Um, again, packaging is very, very cute. It's got a little cherry blossom on it. I think that's 60 more calories, like, for the whole thing. Oh dear. <laughs> oh man, it smells really strong. I know you can't smell it. It smells... Oh, it smells quite fruity though. Okay, I've never actually had sake. And you can taste the alcohol, definitely. Six, just because I don't know, it wasn't that spectacular, it wasn't anything amazing, but it wasn't terrible. But I definitely prefer the first one, I prefer this one, um, the Sakura Matcha over the Japanese Sake. <laughs> okay, so next I'm trying these, and I believe they are. Um, What's it say? Kabaiju si colour balls soda. That's what it says on my little English label. So. Oh, that 
doesn't come off forever. I mean, you hate the one, it's got one of those little pull tabs that it never quite works the way like the arrows indicate. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And look, I love the little, like, he looks like a little ghost. He's so sweet. <laughs> I hope like the texture of sweets like this. Alright, a bit into it now, let's do. I mean it doesn't really I'm not getting much flavour from it, um I mean it's not really soda flavour as such, but it does kind of it's almost like a bit fizzy. But it just reminds me of anyone ever had like little alphabet letter sweets you could get. It just tastes like those. The little, you know, they're like, like different colours and they're all that letters of the alphabet. It's a bit like that. That's the texture in there. And a bit of the stage. Mm. Yeah, it just tastes like alphabet letters, but anyway. Anyway. A little bit nicer. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, there's only a couple of things left that I haven't tried yet. And we're trying to roll top dirty things and stuff. So I think next is the little gummy things that I bet it looks like diamonds and stuff. I can't, yeah, I don't really read Japanese, so I have no idea what anything says. But it's got a happy penguin, happy little seal, and a very happy polar bear. So if they're happy, what could possibly it go wrong? That was easy. Ooh, it's got a seal on it. What's this? It's got a little packet of something and I don't know what it is. What? Is it like sugar? Oh yeah, it says on the back. Okay. Open it and pull this in. Right. Got scissors. We can do this now. Just go along. Oh, I've missed the... <laughs> And all the little animals on here are holding little maracas, so I'm guessing I'm just shaking it. Let me just... Oh, it's like shallow. Okay, cool. Okay, what I'm going to do... Let's just put that down a second. Try one without the shallow. And then see one with the shallow. So, here's a little red one. Without any of the shallow stuff on. nice like a normal gummy sweet really I think this is gonna make them look more like diamonds and stuff so they actually look like they're sparkling I mean if you don't like sherbet you can get these and just help them not with sherbet right make sure it's sealed properly all right and we shake it like the little animals are shaking their back. I think it's like this little polar, you know, little seal polar bear here. And I'm worried I haven't placed it properly. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> Open it again. Oh, it hasn't worked amazingly well, but some of them are covered in stuff. Right, I want a blue one, but I can't don't think there is any blue one. And this this one's meant to be blue. It looks more green than blue. And this one is one with the sherbetty stuff on. Mmm, that does add something to it. Oh, that's a really... I like sherbet, but it's a bit... It's like a minty -ish sherbet. Oh, and that green-blue one tastes a lot better than the red one did anyway. So yeah, these are really really good. <laughs> I like it, I like the whole adding the little, it's almost like the little crisps you just add the salt to, but nicer because I'm not a huge salt fan. Yeah, these are good. Then I might give these a 9. Yeah, I think so. Okay, there's only, I think, one thing left. Now there's this little ice cream thing and it says it's energy 60 calories for this. So I'm not going to eat all of it, just 
Let me show you guys. Some of the strawberry. I said it. It looks like a little ice cream. A little strawberry ice cream. Um, oops, let me just tell my dad. And that lady looks very impressed with it. So hopefully. So warm, it's really, really hard to open all these things. Okay. This is what it looks like when it's out of the thing. So, yeah. I'm hoping it's like a marshmallow y thing and the wafer. So, we'll just take a little look. Mm. It's also crunchy. It's very much that artificial strawberry flavour that you get. It is nice. There's a lot of weight there. I, just, I want to know if the pink goes all the way down or not. You bite the end and see. It does. It goes all the way through. That's good. Oh, it's getting all over my skirt, all the pink stuff. I'm going to put that back in there for now. No, that one's good. I, haven't, I didn't get anything that wasn't bad, but I did like make sure I didn't pick anything that looked a bit. Suspicious. <laughs> I didn't give a rating for the ice cream. This um gets eight and eight. Okay guys, so this has been my Japanese candy trying video from Totally Cute that I got at Hyper Japan in London and it's been very very fun and I hope to do more food kind of videos, hopefully. I don't know, I have lots of my social experiment kind of more deep ones that I really need to get on with. But I will see you guys soon.